Warzone goes back to the 1980s. This is confirmed by Treyarch, and now we're here to talk about every other change coming to Warzone. I'm here with Aaron Sampson. The two of us were able to check out a preview event for the upcoming season three and Warzone, which is why you're here. Aaron, let's talk about what's going on with Warzone. Okay, so we actually now know everything that's gonna happen to Warzone. We're about a week ahead of the rest of the public right now, so we don't actually know what you will already know by the time this video comes out. So we're just gonna tell you everything, and if there's things that you know already, that's great. And if there's things that you don't know, hopefully we are going to tell you something new. I'd like to start off by talking to our Modern Warfare audience in a Q&A session at the end of this presentation. They did pretty much confirm that Modern Warfare is done. So hard to say goodbye. They're not thinking about it anymore. And kind of the way we were looking at this before, where you have to take Captain Price's story ending at face value is true. So that's that's over with. And their brains are almost 100% on Cold War. Now, Verdansk 84 is a new war zone map, and it is completely related to Cold War. It has Cold War's locations. It sounds like it's almost, it's like a reskin. Uh, they said they're, they're touching almost every aspect of the map. There's a lot of new places on the maps, and there's also a lot of redone places. But the big question is, how are we going to get there? That is a lot of what is rolling out this week. So that is gonna happen in four phases. Phase one is escalation protocol, which is zombies going across the map. That is what people are seeing now. Um, when it first happened, we actually thought it might've been a mistake. It almost looked a little buggy, but nope, that is, that's what's going on. There's gonna be zombies leaving behind corruption zones. Those corruption zones will spread from the locations where the zombies used to be. We recently saw one over at ship and prison. It turns players into zombies if you die in the gas. We tested it though, you, you, can't, you can't win that way. If your team dies and you're a zombie out in the gas, you still lose. So you're, you can't cheat by doing it that way. Then there's phase two, the destruction of Verdansk, which is what everybody's been waiting for. So there is a countdown clock, the corruption zones expand, players have to survive in this mode, but guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. The map's gonna get nuked no matter what you do. Sorry if you thought you could save the world. You can't, Verdansk is done. So the map gets nuked and everybody's off of it. You can't go to that map for a little while. That kicks off phase three, the Rebirth Island nuke event, where one lucky player gets to fire off the nuke that just destroyed Verdansk. So everybody gets transported to Rebirth Island. You're fighting on Rebirth Island to set off a nuke, but only one player gets to do it. Something I should add about these two nuke events, now that there's, there's two nuke events, one of them is like a plague event leading into a nuke event, is that these will be limited time modes. They will only take place for approximately two hours each and then it's done. So if you weren't there, you're not going to see it. You can probably watch it on YouTube, but you will not get to experience it. So once the nuke is then fired off from Rebirth Island by one player, that starts the last phase where everybody gets instantly transported to Verdansk 84. We were trying to figure this out before, like how does a nuke take people back in time? And they're taking the easy way out. It, it just narratively goes back in time. It's like, yep, Verdansk is gone, boom, it's done. There's no like zombie portals or anything like that. You just get rewound literally back into time and you are in Verdansk 84. <laughs> The current Warzone Modern Warfare map is done. It's not coming back from what they've said. Now, they say that, maybe someday it'll come back into rotation, but from what they've told us, it's 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 completely over, which is good or bad depending on what you're looking for, but I, I think people have been wanting a map refresh for a very long time, and this map refresh is very extensive. That overhaul consists of a couple of different things, so we'll go through these one at a time. So Verdansk 84 is a very different map. It is a brightly colored 80s map. We had a great YouTube comment where somebody is worried it was gonna be like depressing Stalinist Russia, but it's not, it's, it's colorful 80s. It's much more forested than the map previously was, but the forests are offset by the downtown area is way less dense. So they've kind of, they've thinned out the buildings, but they've thickened all the foliage around it. So different colors, different environment, and you know, a few less buildings. Now, Richie, you took a very extensive look at the new locations. Why don't you go into that? Sure, got a whole list of things that are coming back, things that are new. So let's get right into it. So we saw, the Superstore, which looked, you know, like an, a functional store, not so abandoned. We saw the Duga Array from Cold War, and it's really tall. It's a really big point of interest, and you can get to the tippy top of it and fight on the very top parts of the antenna. It looked pretty cool, uh, according to the all, all the gameplay we saw. We also saw things that were confirmed from that leaked video, like the dam, which is now just a big bridge. 
uh, there is no dam structure. But what's fun about this is that behind the, the dam or the bridge now, they incorporated where the lake was, they incorporated the summit map, the classic Black Ops map. Um, it's not really iced over. It's kind of, it's a little more like earth tone colors, but the layout is mostly there. And the gondolas are actually functional. They're not just cosmetic anymore. So it'll be fun. You can cross over to sort of where the docks currently are, those new docks they added. That might have been a tease for that whole situation because instead of the lake, it is now Summit. The airport is also not destroyed. It is a two layer functional building now. And they, they, they showed off how people at the airport control tower usually just like to hold that zone and snipe. And that now you can combat that by being on the second floor of the airport. So we saw visuals of that. It's looking good. It's looking, you know, like an actual airport, not just a rubble destroyed mess. Other areas that have been replaced are, uh, or added in. One is an old mine that is behind the airport. There's kind of, the, there's a lot of open spaces in Verdansk and they're, they're trying to combat that with things like this. They were trying to make a better transition from dam to the airport basically. So they've done some thinking about map transitions and how to get from point A to point B without covering huge amounts of open ground. That's true because another area they talked about, uh, and I'm excited mostly for this one, is outside of Gulag. From Gulag to downtown is kind of a, a grassy knoll area, very open. In that area, they added the standoff map from Black Ops 2. So it's gonna be an 80s Verdansk version of standoff, which is also gonna be the 6v6 map coming back to Cold War proper. This is exciting to see because it's also filling the spaces where there was just nothing to do except die. Other areas, um, of interest are the quarry, which is pretty similar looking, but it is now a salt mine. So instead of a big dip in the ground, like a, that, that crater, it, it's, it's a little more level and it's salt mines. And they also mentioned that every area within the quarry, all, every door is openable. <laughs> there were some buildings that you couldn't just get into. You can kind of hide behind, but not get into. They've unlocked every door, they said. Also, instead of those big cylindrical silos, uh, I couldn't pinpoint where on the map, but there, there's a few areas with these silos. One of these areas is going to be, be replaced with an airport factory. So it's just like, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's a pretty medium sized area with just, you know, parts of airplanes everywhere. A lot of places to take cover. Uh, so that'll be showing up too. Also mentioned in the presentation, private matches are coming to Rebirth Island. So the same way you can have a private match with 50 people or more in Warzone, They've applied that to the Rebirth map. And last but not least, you guys, we've got some Gulag news. Currently, it is modeled after the Nuketown map, but in this presentation, they announced that it will soon be updated to fit the Standoff map. So I don't know what part of Standoff is gonna be, how big it's gonna be, but they did tease that information coming up soon. This current Gulag isn't really fair. And uh, speaking of fair, Aaron, I think you have some more news on, on balancing Warzone. What do you got? So everybody knows that the FFAR is unbalanced. It's really obvious that that's the case. Devs were asked this question during our QA session. And what they said was, yes, the FFAR is unbalanced. It leads too much into the SMG territory, which is a little confusing because SMGs are usually good at middle to close range. And the FFR is, is like very dominant at long ranges. But they indicated that there was going to be a nerf. The question is, is their mind in the right place for how the gun needs to be nerfed. You have to also balance that with there's a lot of skins coming this season and one of those skins was the FFAR skin. There's some pretty crazy looking ones um, that you, you know, Cold War players will enjoy, but people don't trust Activision. You know, one of the leading theories is that the gun is unbalanced because they're trying to sell skins for it. So you're gonna have to balance your level of trust with are they gonna nerf it correctly with their desire to to sell things for it. The SMG comment means maybe it'll get nerfed at close range. So we'll just have to see on that one. So those are the things we were able to check out at this presentation. There was a lot to unpack here. So we wanna throw it back to you guys and ask if you're ready to leave modern day Verdansk. We're going back to the eighties now and there's no sign that we'll return. So we gotta put the Modern Warfare story behind us. Let us know how you feel about that in the comments and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.